Ben, before getting to the result of this one, let's just get into the fact of how nice it had to have been just to be able to get back out there for you. How, how good did it feel just to be out there for the jump ball to get it going? Uh, I mean, obviously, it feels great to be put on a uniform again, uh, being signed line, you know, but <clears throat> came up a, a short a lot tonight. Uh, you know, I feel like we missed a lot of shots we can make, uh, and they got us they got us out of our rhythm. Anything particular that they did that you all can go, you know what, let's make sure we tighten that up. Even shorthanded, we can do something a little bit better there. I mean, the biggest thing is the rebound. Uh, we got to figure out how we can, you know, hold teams to one shot. You, you and Nicola played together for the first time this season. What did you think about that alignment and how you guys complement each other? Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, two, bat, two passing bigs, you know, we can feed off each other. Uh, you know, he's, as you can see, he's shown he can get in the gaps, he can pass, he can see. So, you know, just working with two guys that can pass, move, that are versatile, you know, I feel like it makes our offense better. But Kyle just mentioned, he said, Nicole is so used to cutting and being so versatile. And he said, when you're out there with Bam, there's one point where Kyle had you on a feed and all of a sudden Nicole cut and it got very crowded in there. So, I mean, is that going to be a thing you two are going to have to work out together if you wind up playing more minutes together? Yeah, growing pains. Uh, I mean, the kid's young. Um, and like you said, this is our first time being on the court together. So <clears throat> as time goes on, we'll, we'll, we'll be better. And uh, he'll figure out how to, you know, pick his spots to cut and, and his tendencies. Well, that's what I was going to ask you because you're used to playing with a pure – Spacing th for usually Jay Crowder, PJ, they just they were corner. And the lane was yours. So would there be times you would defer the lane or see when he's making a cutting cut and step out, or or do you just got to be you? Uh, I mean, I feel like we're gonna feed off each other. Uh, you know, watching film and obviously <clears throat> going through the routine, being in the starting lineup when I'm talking to him, I feel like he'll get a a great you know feel for the game while I'm out there. You know, he'll start to realize when he cut, when he shouldn't cut. And, um, you know, we fall in line from there. That's his last two games, though, from watching him on the bench when you were out. What, what impressed you about him? I mean, the kid can go. Uh, I mean, hands down, <clears throat> he can play. And, you know, there's no doubt about it. But, you know, just keep building those reps and, uh, you know, seeing him. We got to get him to communicate more. Uh, that's his next step. So. You know, if you keep do doing that, the sky's the limit for him.